Well, next up we have Carolina Mendeville, and she is from Mexico, and she is ready to represent Mexico. All right, she, she discovered pole dance in Argentina while studying public relations, and then she entered an international competition team, and the rest has been history. She's known not just for pole, but for her love for cats and rescuing homeless animals. No love for rescuing homeless animals? Yeah. All right, so this competition is actually her one year anniversary. So make sure you show her a whole, whole lot of love. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Carolina Mendeville. That's how you say it. We have Carolina Mendeville coming up next. She's from Mexico. And she discovered pole dance in Buenos Aires, Argentina. She is a beautiful pole dancer typically likes to stick to the more artistic side of things, mm -hmm. as you can tell just by Ooh. her costume and, and the start of her song. And that's a gorgeous Iron X right there. It really was. And I love the way that she's mixing her blue in the eyeshadow with her costume. She's really well-rounded, put together here. Yeah, she looks beautiful tonight. She's quite the competitor, actually. We see Carolina in the North American Pole Dance Championships, the Super Shag Pole Fitness Championships, and she won the Mexican National Pole Fitness Championships to earn her spot here at the PCS. She did, and just last year, she also competed in the Pole Classic at Pole That's Expo right. in Las Vegas. And no one would know better than you, Fanya, you founder go. of Pole Classic. <laughs> She's a busy girl. Ooh, it looked like it could have been a bit of a fumble. A little bit. It looks like she was trying to make sure she had a proper grip. Absolutely. Yeah. Which is, of course, safety is always the first concern. Mm -hmm. In our transition, where is she taking it? Hmm, to the other pole. Here we go. Here we go. See her on the spinning pole now. Pointed toes on that climb up, making sure the back toe is pointed. It's a gorgeous That's stunning. Split. Just a little connection with the heel to the wrist, and look at all it does. It's beautiful. Nice. Here we reverse plank into a drop. I wish you could. I would have liked to see that plank held just a, a little, little bit, bit longer. longer. Yep. But you know what? She's just gonna blow out her shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it would have been nice. A little bit longer. She is making connection with her audience. Mm -hmm. it's very important. I love it when they're able to make the static pole look as if it's on spinning. Absolutely. That was a really nice move there, getting herself up. A lot of our history of pole dancing is done on a static pole. So to be able to make it look more dynamic, like the more modern spinning pole, it is truly an art form. Definitely. Oh, uh, what a nice tumble. That was beautiful. That whole pass was beautiful. Nice and quick, clean. Now it looks like she's got some, I'm not sure what on the quadricep, her right quadricep. Did you see that? I did see it. It looks like some sort of tape she must have. Ah. Perhaps an injury on that right arm there. Could be. Injuries are not foreign in our community. Especially on that part of the body. We typically, as pole dancers, experience injuries on our shoulders more than any other body part. And I, I call those pole kisses, though. The ones that result in bruises, anyway. The ones that result in bruises. <laughs> what about the ones deep inside the joint? That is no joke. <laughs> it's not a pole kiss. No. Different. Here we go, seeing Carolina pull out a spatchcock. Yes. Which is typically a favorite move amongst competitors. It's, it's a very difficult move, and it was invented by the world famous Felix Kane. So that's right. It's, you're accomplishing something amazing. And what are we doing? Almost look like something Madonna would do put your legs behind your head. <laughs> Madonna does that? <laughs> she does all the time, but on the floor. You didn't know that? I don't I'll send you a picture later. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> Next time we'll have Madonna sit with us. <laughs> that would be great. Looks like she has some tape there on her leg too. That's what I'm saying, girl. Carolina oh, Mendeville. Well, that was beautiful. Oh, man. That was amazing. I can tell that you all are falling in love with pole fitness. Yeah. All right. Now I want to ask you this because when she went to the stationary pole, the way she 
operated on that almost looked like that was the rotating pole. How did she do that? Well, one, she is highly skilled, yeah. all right, okay. to be but able to maneuver that. that.